Uh, some cool places to travel this year uh, is what we're going to talk about. Who doesn't love traveling during the summertime? I had a recording for this, but then it got lost and it's not working again. It's not, um, I don't know what's going on, but it's not working out well. So anyways, I am super pumped about this. So uh, I, I love traveling in the summertime. There's more things to see. There's more adventure, more road trips compared to the winter where you have to always take a plane and I don't want to always take a plane so let's get into some of these um what do you call it oh my gosh some of these areas to go visit in the summertime okay let's get right into some of these places here oh what are you doing my mic is down there let's get into some of these places of where we would like to go see in the summer i so I wasn't done recording, but it recorded, like it stopped recording for me, which was weird. So whatever. Anyways, um, let's get into some of these. I only have one source is what I meant to say, um, called the travel.us news, because we're only going to go through a little bit of them today, just because of course my f recording got messed up and I don't want to keep you guys too long. So Number one is the Amalfi Coast, best summer vacation spot in the world of 2024. Gorgeous coastal views and bottomless lim limoncello are your idea of the perfect summer. Head to the Amalfi Coast. Summers in the picturesque Italian destination feature hot temperatures, daytime highs often reach the 90s, and lively festivals and events. Take your pick among 13 seaside towns overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. You can indulge in fine dining and luxury resorts in Positano, um, take a boat tour to rugged grottos in Capri or wander through lemon grooves in Sorrento. Just note, wherever you choose, you can expect an endless stream of crowds, lines, and traffic at the same time, or at this time of year. Absolutely, totally agree. When we were in Banff, same thing. The weekends were crazy. Like, we had free parking, hundreds of acres of free parking, and then little pieces, little bits here and there of paid parking. Not one was available on the weekends it was the weekdays that we had availability but the weekends not one bit it was crazy but i hear the amalfi coast is beautiful and i'd love to go visit it one day it is in italy so damn i would definitely do it number two is cyprus uh this is number two's best spot best summer vacation spot in the world for 2024 a Mediterranean island located about 40 miles of Turkey, Cyprus experiences hot, dry summers, think daytime temperatures in 90s, and promises plenty of things to do and see. Summer is, fest summer is festival season, so travelers can immerse themselves in local culture at the events like Lavender Festival in June and the Potato Festival in July. History buffs will love visiting the Tomb of Kings and other ancient Ruins at Cato Paphos Archaeological Park, which is UNESCO World Heritage Site. Meanwhile, those looking to relax seaside will love the warm and turquoise water of Nisi Beach and Fig Tree Bay. Next one is the Glacier National Park. I love national parks. I want to go there. I'm worried to go to those places like the Amalfi Coast in Cyprus because I don't want it to be too hot um, and toast and burn. I'm not a big fan of like too much heat where, um, you know, if you're cold, you can always warm up. But if you're in the, um, what do you call it? If you're, if you're warm, you could always, you can't really strip. You kind of got to find cool places and it's really hard I find unless you're in your hotel room if the hotel room's lucky and it has AC. <coughs> Number three, I like the national park. So when my boyfriend and I went in August, we went in August for um, five days closer to September. So early mornings was cooler. During the day, it got hotter, and I kind of like that a lot because you're not always too hot. It's not, you know, and I can't say that's for Glacier National Park, but Banff was, a, like, really, like, felt like fall in the morning and summer in the day, you know? Anyways, Glacier National Park is open 365 days a year, but summertime brings out the best of this Montana gem. Temperatures rest comfortably in the 70s to mid-80s during the day and dip to the 40s at night. Spend your trip hiking through more than 700 miles of trails, camping in one of the 13 campgrounds and taking in your 
taking in spectacular views along going to the Sun Road, the entire stretch of which normally opens in late June or July. Just keep in mind this season also brings the most people with an estimated 3 million visitors between May and September. Consider starting your days before sunrise to ensure you get a parking spot at popular location like Avalon, Avalanche Creek and Logan Pass. I do want to go to the Glacier uh, National Park or, the Yellow, or Yellowstone. Oh, those would be so cool to see. Next one is the Azoras. If I say it wrong, I apologize. With mild temperature year-round, there is no really bad time to visit the Azoras, a Portuguese island chain in the Atlantic Ocean. These uh, nine these nine islands are replete with national splendors ring, ranging from lava caves to mountains to lush forests, which travelers can enjoy any time of the year. Best but summer brings the warmest temperatures typically reaching the 70s and driest weather making it the perfect time to check out the warmest temperature oh uh perfect time to check out the islands beaches and dive uh in top dive sites plus these months are filled with cultural events like like the walk and talk street art uh, in festival so in fe- art festival in Seo Miguel um, and the Mary de Agosto Music Festival in Santa Maria. Bali, uh, summer is great time to visit Bali because it falls within the Indonesian destinations. Dry season plus daytime temperatures consistently stay around 80 degrees. The summertime climate is optimal for exploring the island's beautiful attractions, including its beaches and outdoor temples without running the risk of getting heat stroke. Plan to visit to Galiling, to Rice Terrace, and other picture-perfect sites during your trip. Since popular areas will be crowded, you may want to consider booking a local guide who can help you make the most of your trip. Number six is Bermuda. I hear Bermuda is a beautiful place in the summer. If you're looking to chill out a long time with the world's most beautiful shorelines during your summer vacation, choose Bermuda. Temperatures at this time of year typically sit in the 80s, so you can enjoy swimming in warmer Atlantic waters. Traveler favorite beaches include Horseshoe Beaches, the most popular Elbow Beach, and Warwick Long Bay Beach. Unlike Caribbean islands, Bermuda is rarely directed directly hit by hurricanes at the same time of year thanks to its location and small size number seven zion national park i like that name zion z-i-o-n i hope i pronounced it right this is number seven in the best vacation spots in the world of 2024 with highs Soaring into the 90s and 100s during the summer months, Zion National Park may not seem like an ideal vacation spot for season, but with a little planning, this can be one of the most beautiful times to see Utah. The whole park will likely be open and hit and its water hikes, including the Narrows, where you'll wade through Virgin River, offer plenty of opportunities to cool off. That said, bring plenty of water and always check conditions setting out. Plan to arrive before sunrise or a couple of hours before sunset for the best chance of avoiding crowded trails and long shuttle lines. Number eight for Paris. Daytime temperatures in the 70s makes summer one of the best times to wander around the city of light. Dine al fresco at a cafe along the Champs Elysees. Watch lively locals move through the popular La Mare a uh, neighborhood, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, or have a picnic at the L- Luxembourg Gardens on the lawn from the uh, fr- in front of the Eiffel Tower. The only cons, bigger crowds and higher prices. On hotel rooms, you may want to consider a vacation rental to save money and get a local perspective of city life. And you should pl- plan to visit world-renowned attractions like the Louvre, Louvre first thing in the morning to avoid hordes of tourists oh i totally believe that so like summertime is Banff's peak season and like you would rather you'd want to go say fall fall or um or mid uh mid-may because things are open between may and october for like like louise marine lake and like the outdoor stuff uh after that they're all closed and then the skier and snowboarders come you know for the for the winter season however it's very very busy in the uh, during the summer we were there august 24th to the 27th or something and i miss it dearly oh my god do i miss it i want to go back 
and start out, do that trip again with Nathan like so much but it was so goddamn expensive it was nine hundred dollars no fourteen hundred fourteen hundred dollars for th- three nights at a hotel and then it was nine hundred dollars for a rental vehicle the cheapest was the flight surprisingly the um what was I gonna say I can't remember um yeah the flights were the cheapest part, but everything else was not. I was like, oh my god, this is, this is crazy. Like, what? And like, the hotel we stayed at didn't even give you a mini fridge to put food away. Like, like, I was like, what? This is weird. Um, I'm, uh, you know, like, you pay so much, you would think they would give you that at least, at the very least. So, it was a beautiful trip, but I think we would, we would have been better off at like Jasper or something. So I'm going to go through all of these. It's just one article. You could go check it out. Number nine, Rio de Janeiro. June, July, and August are technically Rio's winter months, so you can expect season seasonal lows in the 60s. This means Rio's many outdoor offerings will be incredibly comfortable pursuit. Sink your toes into the famous um, sands such as Ipanema and Copacabana. Copacabina beaches, whatever that says, say. Explore one of the largest rainforests um, on the planet, which is called the Tijuca National Park. That'd be really cool. And hit up one of the new seven wonders of the world, Christ the Redeemer. You may also find rates on hotels and then during Rio's busy summer months. Travelers should not should note beginning April 10th. Uh, 2020, 2024 visas will be required for all U.S. citizens visiting Brazil. We are lucky. I'm lucky that I'm Canadian and I don't have that issue. Laughing at you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not laughing. Um, but it was one time that I thought Americans had to take, had to do that for um Europe to to visit Europe. I know, like. We all had to at one point, like Canadians did too, but I think they took that away because it's just a small visit. But is that the, is that still like that now? And I know like you guys, Americans cannot visit Cuba. I'm not going to get further into that, but I'm just curious. Okay. Next one is the Great Barrier Reef. Looking for once-in-a-lifetime summer vacation, plan a trip down under the world's largest coral reef. Australia's Great Barrier Reef offers some of the most scenic snorkeling and diving on the globe at hot spots like Osprey Reef and Huron Island. And believe it or not, your tourism dollars can help protect this quickly disappearing natural wonder. However, you don't have to be a deliver or a diver to fully enjoy the region sailing on the open ocean and kicking back on a wet Sunday island speech will no doubt satisfy relaxation seekers while the Karandra or Karanda scenic railway is perfect for those looking to explore mainland. And we're gonna go through two more and then I'm gonna call it a day because um I don't want to take away from the whole article. I want you, you could go read it yourself. But these are some, some of the greatest places to visit. It sounds like in summertime. And let me know if you visit in summertime or if you prefer a different time to go. So Machu Picchu, or Machu Picchu, however you say that name. Summer features fewer rain showers than other seasons in the Peruvian mountains, plus daytime highs in the 60s and 70s. This pleasant weather means experienced hikers will have terif- terrific not terrified, terrific conditions for trekking in Inca Trail. Non-hikers can still enjoy the iconic local, but keep in mind that admission tickets are limited and require reservations because of the incredible weather during this time of year. You should expect the UNESCO World Heritage Site and nearby city of Cusco to be busier than usual. And lastly, we'll go with this one, Rome. Uh, if you can handle the heat and humidity, I was there in Rome at the end of June, and I'll tell you, it's not breathable for me. Like, I was suffering, lots of us are suffering, like my family that I went with. Um, we were sweating, we were, you know, it, even with AC in a vehicle was really hot. So, 
just bear in mind, keep in mind, like, going to places where there's AC is super important in Rome. Nighttime, it doesn't get as bad, but during the day, it's really bad. So visitors can take in the history and scenery at the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, and the Trevi Fountain, or cool off with some gelato and squares like Piazza Navona and Piazza di Spagna. While Rome isn't quite as busy in the summer as it is in the spring or fall, you should t- still expect to contend with plenty of fellow tourists at top attractions to have a little piece of Rome to yourself. I'll visit the highlights early in the morning um the weather will be cooler than two yes so the weather is cool in the early morning or nighttime i found like i cooled off at night but i was sweating during the afternoon because of how hot it was so just keep that in mind if you go to rome at the end of june or in the hot seasons of june july august um fall and i think spring are like Two of the best times to go. It's a little cooler at night, but I think it's still shorts wearable and you could go on the beach. I think. Don't quote me on that. But anyways, that is it for me. Those are the travel places to go during the summer. Let me know if you've been there and we'll chat soon. Have an awesome day. Bye now.